My goal is to do a video where I break the Guinness Book of World Records for staring contests. That would be amazing. What's the what's the record? 41 minutes. 41 minutes. OMG, Joe. That would be amazing. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Who's Joe YouTube Edition. Who's Joe? Who the f*** is Joe? Who's Joe? Who's Joe? Who's Joe? Who's Joe? Yeah. Who is Joe? Today, we are here with Sturfers, who is a very entertaining streamer that I've uh, recently gotten into watching. Um, can you tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, uh, I am a fairly new streamer. I started streaming July, or uh, yeah, July 25th. Um, I just basically, I have a bunch of gamer friends who um, also stream, and I wanted to play along with them in some of the games, and then I have a lot of other friends that I've met in streams, and uh, we basically, I was talking to them, I was like, I really want to play games, and I want to hang out with you guys, and they're like, well, why don't you stream? And I, I don't know. So I just decided <laughs> one day to hit the start stream button, and uh, it's been a great almost three months, so I've really enjoyed myself, and uh, I'm excited to see where it takes me. Well, you've only been streaming for three months? That's pretty... Yeah, only three months. That's pretty amazing. So, uh, I guess let's go ahead and start the uh, staring contest portion. Okay, hold uh, on. I want to get my hair out of my out of my eyes. Okay, <laughs> does that make me blink? <laughs> I will do a countdown from five, and then okay. we'll go. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, the first question I'm going to do is a question I've done in the past five staring contests is if you could collaborate with... Oh, God, I blinked. <laughs> <laughs> we can I count... told you I was going to be... We can okay. count that one out. We can Here. count that one out. Okay, okay. If, if you could collaborate with any streamer, YouTuber, any creator in the world, who would you collaborate with? Oh, God. <laughs> I blinked again. That's fine. I'm terrible at this joke. That's, that's fine. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to try to do it again. Uh... Oh my gosh! Any any streamer YouTuber? Uh, I'll keep blinking. I can't not not blink. How do you how do you do this, Joe? I need to know your secrets. Um, I drew a blank, but there there's a YouTuber that I abs uh, Casey Neinstadt. I love him. He is an amazing YouTuber. I think he's brilliant. He's hilarious. I really um, appreciate his reviews and his views on life. Um, so uh, streamer wise, I've had the opportunity. So I. Oh my god, I keep blinking, Joe. I'm I'm terrible. It's Joe, fine. I'm, it's fine. I'm I lost. <laughs> I lost a long time ago, I think. <laughs> um, but streamers, I I'm so I tried too. I I really tried. I even looked up like how not to blink. And it says like look move move your eyes around. It didn't work for me. I I'm I'm really sorry, Joe. Don't be um, sorry. Don't be sorry. I lost. Um, uh, but streamers. So streamers, I've had the opportunity to actually work with some of my absolute favorite streamers. Uh, Permanube, he is, he was, uh, I met him on Mixer, um, cause I, I didn't stream on Mixer, but I watched streamers on Mixer, uh, and he was one of my absolute favorites. So I've had actually the opportunity to game with him, which has been pretty amazing. And it's, I totally fangirled out when he, when he came into my stream in the beginning. And um, he's a great guy. So I feel like that wish has been fulfilled at this point. So one thing I do, um since I've already won. Is yeah, you won. You won hands down. I am going to try to go the rest of the interview as well without blinking. Okay. And I am currently I, that's off to you. six and oh now. So that's yay. incredible. That's incredible. Yes. No, hands down. I, I've watched, I've watched some of your past videos. And I, I was like, I want to be like Joe. How can I be like Joe and not blink? I, I don't know. I tried. I, I even, I practiced. I looked up ideas. None of them worked for me. My goal is to do a video where I break the Guinness Book of World Records for staring contests. That would be amazing. What's the, what's the record? 41 minutes. 41 minutes. OMG, Joe. That would be amazing. I, I hope that you're able to accomplish that. It's doable. Do you keep eye drops close by? No. 
No. I should I should see if Clear Eyes will sponsor me. The clear Eyes, you should. Or, or like saline, you know, just something to like. Clear Eyes eliminates redness and as an ingredient to moisturize. Wow. So you mentioned you <laughs> came from Mixer. I didn't mm -hmm. know that you hadn't streamed there. What, um, nope. what is the transition from Mixer to Twitch been like for you? So because I was just a viewer on Mixer, I think it's a little easier for me. However, I was a mod for a streamer on Mixer. And um, so some of the things that I really enjoyed that that's different for me that I struggled with in the beginning, like I said, it wasn't as big of a struggle because I didn't stream on Mixer. So I only got to see a small piece of the differences. Um, so it was, I, I don't know, for, I, I enjoyed some of how Mixer's platform uh, talked between streamer and their mods. So like I could whisper my my streamer that I was modding for and I wouldn't have to like, he wouldn't have to click out to a different window. It was all very seamless. Right. Um, chat That's wasn't, cool. it didn't reset, which I thought was, um, which drove me nuts when I first came to Twitch. It drove me crazy that the the chat would refresh and then you wouldn't have the chat history anymore. So you, like, you couldn't scroll up and see what, what you missed. Um, but Outside of that, I, I haven't had any other issues. Um, I've, I've been very, very, very fortunate. Um, so far, I've had very few issues. Um, and But for the most part, the community that I've found myself in has been incredibly helpful, very uplifting. And those instances have been very few and far between. But I have seen in other streamers' uh, channels where they can get pretty, like, you're just like, wow, like, why? What is the point of coming in and ruin summoning's day like that? Like, what's... What what do you, what enjoyment do you get out of that? Like, can't just everybody get along, have a good time? <laughs> it's kind of amazing but. as a female streamer that you haven't seen more than you do because it's pretty obvious that female streamers see a disproportionate like amount of toxicity more than male streamers. Absolutely, I I'm I've been I've been very grateful for that. I think um, for me. Whenever I started streaming, um, I had built communities up and the people that I supported, I made sure I, it wasn't intentional, but um, I don't know, I, I just connected with people. So when I started streaming, everybody that I had already built relationships with was like, yeah, let's let's go hang out with you, you know? And so um, the community that I built around me while I was just a viewer was pretty strong. So when I started, I already had that that close kinship with people and they were there to help keep those people away. Um, I have some pretty amazing mods who I built relationships with over on Mixer who were, and when I told them I was going to start streaming, they were like, we want to be your mods. We want to take care of you. Like just, we want to let you know that you've, we've got you. So I, I noticed like on your stream last night that you were doing some art, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a lot of fun to watch. When did you start doing that and how did how did that kind of evolve? So that, oh my gosh, the paint night. Paint night came about my very first day streaming. Um, we had family paint night here at, at my house. Um, it was when COVID first started. So we, my niece and her mom and, and I, we kind of, we've all been staying home and keeping away from everybody. And my niece is, oh my gosh, she's gonna murder me. Uh, she's 14. Okay. Please tell me she's 14. Um, but she uh, she was kind of going stir crazy. And because we were staying away from everybody equally, we decided to come together and have a paint night. So we uh, did an online paint night together. and um, But it happened to be the same day I was streaming. So we decided to... Uh, the community was like, oh, no, don't go. It's been so great having you here. Just stream paint night. I was like, okay. Um, so I did and my niece, it was her first time painting for the family. So she, the whole thing was that she was learned how to paint the painting and she was going to teach us how to paint it. So we streamed it and it went, it was great. Everybody had a great time. And, um, uh, it was actually Eminem. That's Eminem's is my niece. She came up with the idea of like, why don't we do this with your stream? So I, we asked the community community said, absolutely. Um, so this was our, this is our second time doing it with the community. And um, it's it's been well received. One thing I've noticed with Twitch is that it's like heavily leaning towards gaming, like mm -hmm. pretty much the majority of Twitch is gaming. So it's cool to see 
people branching out and doing other things like art. There's a new uh, streaming platform coming out. I don't know if you've heard about it at all. Uh, called, uh, have you heard of Glamish, Any? I have. I just secured my username over at Glamish, so um, I'm excited. I just learned about them. I actually learned about them through Permanoob Stream. Um, so I, I'm going to check them out also, see what they're about. But I have. I have. I don't know too much about them, but uh, I'm excited. I think more competition needs to come out. Agreed. I'm excited about Glamesh because I've, I've been in their Discord community a little. And one thing I've noticed is that uh, technology-wise, they seem to be um, uh, pulling a lot from how kind of like Mixer did things. Like the mm -hmm. chat's going to be low latency chat. Like when you type a message, the um, streamer will see it like in less than a second. Like, yeah, which is... That is that is actually one of, since you bring it up and I, I didn't think about it before, I didn't have that issue I, or I didn't, I don't know the difference because I didn't have anything to compare it to, but the fact I have to wait five seconds, three seconds, or even 10, up to 10 seconds for a message to come and hit me before I can respond back it drives me crazy. Like it's, I always have to pause and be like, okay, when are they going to respond back or when, <laughs> like, it's, so I, that's actually really exciting. That's a, one of the reasons I was like, ooh. Glimish, that sounds pretty cool. Like I'll I'll keep that on on the in the my crosshairs, you know. Keep an I, eye on that. Like I'm obviously not on their dev team or anything, but I I, I want to say that they're using like a modified version of the faster than like technology that mm -hmm. uh, Mixer used. Yeah, I I wouldn't wouldn't surprise me. So that's that's exciting. Do you ever see yourself uh, delving into making your own YouTube videos? Absolutely. Um, I YouTube for me. I remember. I remember when YouTube. Oh, this is gonna. This is gonna sound so. I'm gonna sound so dated. But I remember <laughs> when YouTube became like, like it was just. I remember there's a cat video and he's just banging on the piano and it's like, uh, oh, how does I don't remember how the song goes, but it's. <laughs> Oh, I can't, it's, it's, I can't remember it, but there's like, I remember when YouTube was just about like those silly, funny videos. After starting with Twitch, I feel like I can tackle it more. And uh, so yes, that would be a new adventure for me that I would absolutely be open to giving a shot and trying out. That's that song video, that song of the cat is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> I can't remember, I can't remember the song. It's going to drive me nuts. That's really cool. Now, um, so you mentioned earlier that you've already done a fair amount of collaboration with other people, and I've seen you, seen some of those collaborations. Um, how did you connect with those people, the people that you already kind of collaborate with on a regular basis? So uh, Permanoob, I am pretty regular in his stream now. Since I've been working from home, it's been a lot easier to connect with people in the mornings. Um, cause in the mornings I'm just doing emails and it's, it's admin work. I don't have to talk to any clients or do any executive meetings or anything like that. So I'm able to have them on in the background and, um, Permanoob had mentioned he wanted to play with somebody in his community, uh, a game called a TikTok, TikTok, a tale for two. And, um, I was real quick, like, I will take a day off. I will play with you. I'm taking that opportunity. He's genuinely it. And it sounds so silly being so it's it's really weird to think about but going from a viewer to a streamer and having the success that i've had so far it's funny to think that we put these streamers on platform or pedestals not platforms but pedestals um but perm was i mean he is he's a great streamer he's a great guy i love his community and the message he he uh, sends out so um, when I when he presented that opportunity to the community, I was like, I want that. I I will take time off just to be able to hang out with you. And so he said, great. And I was like, oh my god, and like totally. <laughs> I I fangirled out. And it sounds like it's we're just normal people, and he's just a normal person. He has a normal life, and he's got kids and a family. And it's but it's hard to think about that when you're like look at these streamers, and you're like, oh, but they're so awesome, and they're so cool, and I love their message, and I connect with them. And um, but he picked me, and uh, I got to play with him, and that was super cool. I guess I just haven't been too afraid of approaching people and just saying, hey, I think you're awesome. Let's do something together. Uh, and I'm and I'm open to that. I'm open to people like yourself. You approached me and said, Hey, let's, let's do something. And I guess I'm just staying open-minded and being okay with taking that leap of just saying, yeah, let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Like, well, I think we've got, have, Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. 
I was going to say, have you blinked yet? No. At least, you haven't blinked at, at yet. At least unless I've done it subconsciously, I do not believe I have blinked. I don't think you've blinked. I haven't seen you blink, but I've been more trying to make eye contact with you than staring at you. So. And we are uh, 26 minutes in right now, so... Already, time flies, man. Time flies. Well, I think That's we've incredible. got uh, enough content. Uh, we'll skip to the section where I get you to say, "I was not able to beat Joe in a staring contest." <laughs> I was not able to. To what was I supposed to say? <laughs> I was not able to beat Joe in a staring contest. <laughs> I was not able to beat Joe in a staring contest. Not even close. Wonderful. And one new thing <laughs> I've started doing is I would like, if you're willing to, for you to call out somebody else that you would like to see do a staring contest video with me. Hmm. Let's see. Who can I call out? I'm going to call out Crackle Jacks. Okay. Crackle Jacks, I'm calling you out. He's, but he was, he's been with me since my third day streaming. He's a fantastic guy, and I think it would be fun to get to know him a little bit better. So I'm going to call out Crackle Jacks. All right, Crackle Jacks, you've been called out. So we, we've we been recording for 27 and a half minutes. I haven't blinked for 27 and a half minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and say this has been another episode of Who's Joe YouTube Edition. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. If you are not already following Sturfers on Twitch, do it. Do it right now. It is <laughs> twitch.tv slash Sturfers, which if I'm going to try my best, it's, it's S-T-U-R-P-H-E-R-Z. Is that right? Yes, Joe. Yes, you got it. I, you I, got it. I studied it very closely after that one night <laughs> I rated somebody else who wasn't even streaming and hadn't streamed in years instead of you <laughs> because I left <laughs> off an R. I've done that. I've done that before where I was like, oh, man, I misspelled it. Whoops. But, but again, uh, thank you very much for having me, Joe. I really appreci I appreciate it. It feels weird to say that because I'm not streaming, so I, I'm pretty positive I can say it. If not, I will fix a lot of channel points. <laughs> You can say that. <laughs> well, thanks everybody again for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.